Again, we were greeted by the Bohemian Bards. And the next name of this piece of music is Totus Floreo. We joined it a little later than we did yesterday, later in the song. As that fades away, we will look to the confessions of Dr. Constantino and his confessions on the eighth, I'm sorry, the ninth and the tenth commandment, which is the commandment against covetousness. Here's the commandment, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, nor shalt thou covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is your neighbor's. These are the words of Dr. Constantino. The objects which your righteousness placed in the hands of others and bestowed upon those who held them to be their own, how frequently did the evil principle of my heart contemplate these objects as its own. How often, did, how often did it, with malignant heedlessness, allow itself to dream that the province had erred since it had placed in others' hands that which seemed desirable for myself and had not constituted me the sole proprietor of everything. I found myself alert to all that was wrong and torpid as to all that was right. I never found in myself more than a feeble germ of principle in reference to that which is good. Consequently, I flagged in its performance. Besides right suggestions, because they emanated from you, there were ever, but still ill entertained by me. I have been stubborn in the wrong when I did not carry it out, yielding, I yielded to and tr trifled with it in order that my raving fancies might dally with it. <clears throat> While my happiness depended on nothing else but upon the observance of the law and commandments dictated by your goodness and wisdom, which should serve as a lamp to my feet and a light to my path, and wherein I feel assured that I did render thee service, I move I moved by pride sought to be exempted from them all. I chose to consider that what I took for liberty was a slavery and captivity of ignorance and wretchedness opposed on me by Satan. The covetousness of the human heart looks at what God has given to us and says it's not enough, it's not right, but I want. And all these that we've looked at in covering Dr. Constantino's confession, and yes, that was the last of his confessions. The book, if you want to interested in it, Confessions of a Sinner by Dr. Constantino Ponce de la Fuente. There you go. It had, contains also uh, his articles of faith. But one thing keeps reasserting, being reasserted and, and, and referred to. He references my will. My will. And my will is set against God's will. Now we hear a lot of, our, if you grew up in the holiness, conservative holiness movement like me, you heard a lot of preaching against the self. God created the self and created it for his pleasure and his glory. So self is not wrong, but willfulness, when it sets against God, when it is anything other than aligned with the will of God and surrendered to the will of God, when the will is set to obey God, anything other than that is devastating. It's evil. It's a lie. It's a twisting of the good and rightly ordered spirit, the rightly ordered 
world that God created. It is you and me standing at the at the edge of our life, the, you know, facing tomorrow and saying, I will have my world my way. And we've forgotten that it's not our world. We've forgotten that our word has no lasting value and our way will perish. One of the witticisms that comes from recent times in the United States is that saying, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Dr. Constantino's commentaries, confessions on the Ten Commandments, nearly 500 years ago, ring true. Although the language is a bit archaic, they ring true to where we are today and who we are. And before the indictment that Dr. Constantino has written out for us based on the Ten Commandments. Now, he didn't condemn us. He was condemning himself, but it, it's me and you, too. Before that, what do we say? We could say, well, Dr. Constantino lived in Spain 500 years ago. What does he know about our world? We could say, Dr. Constantino, his language is so archaic and old, and his view of, um, of himself, well, that might be good, but that's not me. Or we can say, oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Forgive me, crucify my will, and let Christ live in me. I hope that's the cry and prayer of your heart. We'll move on and review more material, perhaps do another review of a book in the near future. God bless you. Bye-bye.